Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Auberge, the Daily Trader. It is April 1st, April Fools. Uh, I won't be making any jokes. Uh, I hate it when people uh, use their network or news network to do April Fools. Um, I'm still not a financial advisor. So uh, what happened today with Tesla? Uh, Tesla closed down, closed down 6%. Uh, no, no, no. Closed down six dollars and eighteen cents, uh, down point ninety three percent at six sixty one seventy five. Uh, Post market uh, up thirty five cents. So let's look at the chart now. So uh, the candle that we see. That's a very interesting candle. Uh, so the candle that we see is um, well, we we failed to break out of the channel so we have had a downward channel so to to know that the stock has finished going down the stock is going to break and close outside the close of the day is within the double resistance line so technically the stock has just went out of it and just came back in and Technically, from a technical analysis perspective, the stock is still in the downtrend. Uh, even though today we had the, um, well, let's look at the one hour chart. So today the stock, uh, the stock, uh, is it, uh, no, the first here. So the stock opened above. So we opened here at 688. So I really thought that Tesla was uh, going to go uh, far, but no. It just it just went back in, stopped, stopped at 12:30. It stopped on the outer side of the support. It touched it, touched it again for the next candle. Then went back inside to this uh, double level, double level. So um, so I cannot really say that's a breakout. You know, I cannot say that. And uh, if we look at uh, the stochastic for the one hour, the stochastic is going down, of course, and the MACD is crossing over. So, uh, so I don't know what's going to happen uh, on Monday because uh, the stock markets are closed tomorrow. If we go back to the daily. So basically, uh, let's look at the indicators. So uh, stochastic uh, went down from yesterday. So at 68. MACD, MACD crossed over. So MACD is turning bullish. Well, let me see. So the D before it was still bullish. So the MACD has been bullish for two days. So today and yesterday. Whoops, sorry. I just clicked the button here. So uh, MACD has been bullish and the DMI the DMI is still is still saying that the stock is bullish. So uh, these are very uncertain times for Tesla stock because um, last I heard Tesla will be announcing the deliveries that they had Q1, maybe April 1st, April 3rd. I don't think Tesla has released when they were going to um, release those numbers. If you know, please uh, comment in the comment section below. So uh, depending on those numbers and depending on how people will perceive those numbers and this is why the stock market is not about the news. It's about how people react to the news. So sometimes you can get a good news and the stock is going down and vice versa. So it's really hard to take a bet and say, well, oh, Tesla will will do this and they should uh, and and people are going to react this way and the stock will react this way so so there's a lot of var variables to take into account and uh, some people are good at doing that and but I'm not uh, playing that game I'm just looking at this chart and telling you what the chart is telling me so that you can use that information along with any other information that you think is important before making your decision. So I'm just one ingredient in your recipe and that's fine with me. So, um, so yeah, so lots of uh, volatility to come with the release of the delivery numbers. 
Um, I'm hearing numbers. Uh, I think the consensus of the deliveries is around 160,000, which is uh, which is a lot. I think I think this this would be twice what Tesla has produced and sold uh, last year for uh, Q1 2020. So if Tesla releases numbers that are below that, maybe people are going to be reacting. Uh, badly and the stock might go down i don't know we'll see i'm just saying that those numbers will make the stock move i don't know in what direction and also uh may 5th so may 5th is really the big date because um the profits that tesla made on the delivery numbers and on uh, other revenues will be uh, disclosed after the close on may 5th so uh so this will also um, impact the stock uh, a lot, I think, but I don't know in which direction. So uh, that's it for me uh, today. So please like, subscribe. I have a Patreon page now. Uh, if you want to take a look at that and take me uh, and, and tell me what you think about it. And also created a Discord, a Discord server. So I'm playing with that. I'm kind of new to that Discord thing. Uh, thing. I've I played with Slack and uh, what is yeah I think Slack Slack and I'm on Office 365 but that's not the same thing but uh, basically I have this uh, Discord server so that we can uh, hang out a little bit more uh, I want to post some uh, Tesla news that I find interesting in there and I will be posting my uh, YouTube videos also on uh, Discord so this uh, Discord place can be our common uh, place where we can hang out so you can check that out I'm going to wish you a great evening and we are going to be talking uh, Monday, Easter Monday and I'll tell you à la prochaine